Introduction In the annals of Greek mythology, few stories are as intriguing as that of Hercules and Omphile. A tale of love, humility, and transformation, it challenges our perceptions of heroism and power. This narrative explores the complex relationship between Hercules, a hero renowned for his strength, and Omphile, a queen who ruled with wisdom. Chapter 1 The Unlikely Servitude once upon a time in ancient Lydia, Queen Omphile found herself in possession of an unusual slave, none other than Hercules, the mightiest of all heroes. The Delphic oracle Xenoclea had sentenced him to a year of servitude as penance for his reckless act of throwing Iphitus over the walls of Turrens. Omphile, intrigued by her new servant, decided to test the limits of his humility. She commanded Hercules to trade his lion skin and club for a spindle and women's clothing. The hero, bound by the oracle's decree, had no choice but to comply. Day after day, he sat among Omphile's maidens, spinning thread and contemplating the irony of his situation. Chapter 2 The Forbidden Yearning In a palace adorned with silk and gold, Omphile, the widowed queen of Lydia, awaited her new slave. Hercules, the epitome of masculine prowess, stepped into the chamber, his eyes locking onto hers. The air was thick with tension and unspoken desires. Your punishment, Omphile purred, is to wear these. She handed him a bundle of silk robes, her fingers lingering on his. Hercules, humbled yet intrigued, donned the feminine attire. As days turned into nights, Hercules found himself entangled in more than just silken chores. Omphile would often catch him staring as she draped herself in the skin of the Nemean lion, a trophy from Hercules' past. Their eyes met, and in that moment, they both felt a forbidden yearning. Chapter 3 – The Night of Release One evening, Omphile decided it was time to test the waters. She invited Hercules to her private chamber, where she had arranged a feast under the guise of a Dionysian ritual. Wine flowed, and so did their inhibitions. Tell me, Hercules, do you find your punishment, pleasurable? Omphile asked, her voice laced with seduction. Hercules, caught in her gaze, replied, it's a torment of a different kind, one that I find myself longing for. Omphile moved closer, her lips just inches from his. Then perhaps it's time for your release, she whispered. That night, the palace walls couldn't contain their passion. Hercules felt a freedom he had never known, and Omphile discovered a love that defied all norms. Eventually, Omphile set Hercules free from his servitude, but by then, they were both captives of a different sort, a love that would be whispered about for generations to come. Chapter 4 – A Love Sealed in Dionysian Rites Finally, the day of Hercules' freedom arrived. Omphile, not wanting to part ways with the man who had so profoundly changed her life, offered him a choice, he could leave, or he could stay and become her husband. Hercules, realizing that he had found something far more valuable than his former glory, chose to stay. The two were married in a grand ceremony, and soon after, they embarked on a journey to the sacred grove of Dionysus. There, amidst the lush foliage and the intoxicating scent of wine, they celebrated the gods' rites, sealing their love and commitment to each other. From that day on, Hercules and Omphile ruled Lydia with wisdom and justice, cherishing each moment of their unconventional love. Though their reign was but one chapter in Hercules' storied life, it was a chapter neither would ever forget, forever shaping the legends that would follow. Thanks for watching.